Shane is arguably one of the best characters in The Walking Dead. He laid the foundation of the true reality of the world in the show and left a huge impact on the main character, Rick Grimes. Shane taught me. Remember him? Yeah, I remember him. I remember him every day. And when I say he left a huge impact, I mean you can ask almost anyone and they will say Rick ended up being like Shane towards season 5. Now, one of the things I constantly find myself wondering is if Shane was a bad guy. This is one of those questions that are really tricky to just give a simple yes or no answer to, considering that there's a lot of different factors and motives that made him act the way he did. But when observing his character art closely, there's actually an exact moment that shifts his behavior into the ruthless Shane that wanted to kill Rick. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of his villainous acts and determining if he's a villain. Jesus. And if he is a villain, at what moment did he become one? All right, so I'm actually gonna be using this progress bar right here that will slowly fill up until the moment Shane truly became the villain. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is Shane's affair with Lori. Now, I don't think by any means that he was correct for doing this, but I won't be adding any percentage to the progress bar. After all, him and Lori did think Rick was dead, so they were making the best of their time, I guess? And if I consider this villainous intent, that wouldn't be correct because I would be categorizing them both, and that's not true because the moment when Lori figured out Rick was alive, she went straight back to Rick's side. You stay away from me. You stay away from my son. You don't look at him. You don't talk to him. From now on, my family is off limits to you. But now that Shane is alone, it brings us to our first crime. This scene right here of Shane pointing his gun at Rick is where I think we see the first breakthrough of the crazy Shane. But I definitely don't think this is what started his downfall into his crazy persona. I think it's just a small chip into the fragile glass protecting it. And this will come back to haunt him later on since Dale saw the whole ordeal. So for this first moment, I'm gonna put him at 5% out of the 100%. Next up is the CDC. Now this is where the glass truly shatters and we see what type of person Shane really is. We are, we are Keep in mind, all we've seen is that he's just Rick's friend and that he just got with Lori. But this is where we see the true anger and hatred inside of him. So there's multiple ordeals in the CDC endeavor, but I'll be starting with the one that I personally find the most uncomfortable talking about or even seeing. And that's the scene where Shane assaults Lori. I don't really want to dive that deep into this scene, but overall, it was a really unnerving and creepy moment that added to the craziness of Shane. And it goes a lot deeper than the fact that he just did this to Lori. It's also, this is the moment he finds out that Lori wanted nothing nothing to do with Shane. So the breakthrough of him like starting to become crazy by doing that and then also realizing that Lori no longer wants him, it's just like a domino effect that collides onto each other and then the rest of the episode he's pretty crazy. When they realize that they're stuck inside the CDC, Shane has an absolute meltdown blasting all the walls and computers with a shotgun and this scene shows the anger built up in Shane and how he tends to handle conflicts. After this whole ordeal, I'm going to be putting Shane at 35% of the villain meter. We're at a point now that we know he's pretty crazy and filled with rage and he's come to the realization he can't get back with Lori. And we're left with that on season one. So now on to season two. So in season two, it's actually pretty surprising because rather than seeing Shane continuously becoming more of a villain, there's actually moments where he might be going back to normal. So I want to start off with the first crime of season two, and which is when Shane sacrificed Otis to get the supplies. This moment right here showed that he will pretty much do anything for Lori and Carl. And when I mean anything, I mean anything. <laughs> Now, the thing that's different about this is Shane did have remorse for doing this. He later on admitted to doing this to Rick and talked about it multiple times, how he was never quite over it. And there ain't nothing easy about taking a man's life, no matter how little value it may have. But when you get it done, you have to forget it. I guess I haven't quite got that last part down yet. So this wasn't the crazy Shane just yet, but really close since he did shave his head after. So I'm gonna put him at 50% of the meter. And then the next few episodes after this is pretty surprising because we actually see him cool down a bit. He starts showing some interest in Andrea and they had considered leaving the farm together. I genuinely think that things were becoming normal again, and I'm gonna actually put him at 20% of the villain progress bar. And of course, that wouldn't last long, and this next moment I'm gonna be showing you guys is the exact moment Shane became a villain. And I'm talking about the exact moment, one scene, we see him literally shift from normal into the villainous monster that wanted to backstab his friend. And here it is. We, we can make it safe. We can make, how are we gonna do that? We will, okay? How are we gonna we make will, it safe, okay? Rick? No, man, it's not okay, Rick. Lori's pregnant. That face right there, that is where it all started. Kill us. Enough! Rick, it ain't like it was before. Now, if y'all wanna live, if you wanna survive, 
You gotta fight for it! He goes on an absolute madman spree, killing all of the walkers in the barn and belittling Rick's leadership in front of the whole group. And from that moment on, he never saw eye to eye with Rick ever again. With the Randall predicament, he was constantly at Rick's throat for not making the right decisions. He even went as far as to say that Rick couldn't keep Lori and Carl safe. Get anymore. You can do it. It's my call, man. I don't think you can keep them safe. This was all villainous intent here, and I think both Shane and Rick very well knew one of them wasn't going to make it out alive. Also, after Lori talked to Shane after Rick and Shane's fight, he fully settled on the fact that Rick had to go. He found out that Lori was pregnant, he knew he was the father, and he's like, okay, Rick is gone. <laughs> Which is why he staged the whole Randall thing in order to get the upper hand on Rick, which didn't exactly go to plan. And guys, this is all personal opinion. This is what I think. I think that moment that I showed you guys is the exact moment he became a villain. Please let me know what you guys think and tell me if you think Shane is even a villain or if I've got it all wrong. You know, after all, this is all my personal review. This is not facts. This is just what I've seen. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys think I'm correct and what your thoughts are. And thanks for watching. Peace.